learn to draw in minutes by using letters and numbers with Buffalo Potato. Hi, welcome to Buffalo Potato. I'm John and that's Buffalo. Yeah. And today we're gonna draw, uh, I don't know. Buffalo, what do you wanna draw? Yeah. I can't, I can't understand. He says he wants you to draw a cat. Who are you? Who I am isn't important. Just draw the cat. Okay. Okay, buddy. I guess we're gonna yeah. draw a cat. Today on Muffalo Potato, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a cat using nothing but numbers and letters. You've actually all written in at some point to do this, so it's about time. Let's draw a cat. And all you need are three things. You need a pen, you need a piece of paper, and you need to watch me. And the first thing we're gonna do is set up our paper this way, long ways across, and we're gonna draw two letters, one on top of the other. A capital D, and then beneath that, a capital E. Only make sure the capital E is long, just like that, okay? So, first you're gonna draw your D right about here, capital D, nice and easy. And then beneath that, you're gonna draw on capital E, but get those nice and long, just like that. And now we're gonna draw a capital B, and we're gonna put it on top of the capital E. So here's your E, and right here, we're gonna draw that B. So trace that line again, and do a B, just like that. Now moving over right here, we're gonna draw a capital C, which looks just like this, kind of closes off that shape. So start with your pen here, go down and back again. Notice the C is as big as the B is as big as the E. All right, but now we're gonna draw an O, a nice tall O like this, and make it a lot bigger than that C. So we're gonna put our pen here and we're gonna come down, down, down. It's a long skinny O and goes around and it closes off. And now you're gonna take your page and turn meow. it up. What? Um, it, meow? I don't know what meow means, dude. Meow. Yeah, he wants you to turn the page. Oh, gotcha. There's that guy again. Yeah, it's me again. Turn the page. All right. Whatever, buddy. All right. There. Now, now we got our page looking like this, and I want you to draw two Vs, small ones, like this, on either sides of the O, on this side and on this side. These will be the ears of our cat. And now we're gonna go back up top and we're gonna draw two number 11s. One like this and one like that. Right there and right there. And yeah. now we're... What? Turn the page again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got you, buddy. All right, so we're gonna turn All the right. page once more, just like this. And we're going to do two lowercase b's, like this and like this, okay? These are gonna be the cat's eyes. So kind of put them here and here, sort of just under the ears. So one right here and the other one just like that. Those are two Bs. Now back down here at the bottom of this upside down D, we're gonna draw two Us. One U here and another one tracing it like that so it looks like a long piece of spaghetti kind of, okay? So we'll start with our pen right here. There's one U, there's the other U. And where that ends right there, we're gonna draw a small N to end the N, just like that. Closes it off. And yeah. now, yes? Turn the page. Yeah, I know, I was just about to tell them. Yeah. Fine. Turn the page, guys, one last time. Just like, the, oh, look at that, that looks fantastic. Now we're real close, we're really close. So we need to do a couple things. We need to draw a C, kind of loose and long and wide like this, just to close off this area and this area. So put your pen here, do a C just like that. And now you're gonna draw a capital Y just like this, really small, and right in between these two Bs, that's his little nose. So just a Y, like this, and finally one last step, a W, a lowercase W like that. Looks like a bird in flight, only upside down. And make sure that middle point touches the Y and goes around 
and oh my goodness, is that adorable. Guess what, guys? You've just drawn a cat. Meow. Yes, meow, meow. He's saying meow. I know, he says meow, that's cute. Okay, so now you can do fun things like add stripes and spots and whiskers and just, you know, fun, cute things, kind of like this. Boop. And boom, voila, there's your kitty, your cat. I hope you had fun drawing that. I know I sure did. How about you, Muffalo? Meow. Yep, he had fun. Oh, I, I understand that much. And nice to meet you too. What's uh -huh. your name? Seriously, guy. Uh, what's who I am is not important. Not right important, now. I know. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what happens when the lunatics run the asylum. Meow. Uh, I Meow. hope you had a great time. Rewind it and watch it again. Uh, pause if you have to. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. I will see you next time with another fun thing to draw on Muffalo Potato. Meow. Meow. Uh-huh. All right. Muffalo says he wants you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. We post new videos with new things to draw every Saturday morning. And you can log on to MuffaloPotato.com to see all kinds of fun surprises and neat things. What? Oh. If you have pictures you want to show us, or maybe an idea on what you want me to draw next, you can write to me, john at mufflopotato.com. Make sure you ask your parents' permission first. Say goodbye, Muffalo.